Hi, this is Alex Masichev of Antwilion, the developers of Dita 2 Dita CMS. In the next few minutes, I am going to show you how the tight integration between Dita 2 and FrameMaker lets you get a complete authoring, publishing, and management solution for your Dita content, all within the FrameMaker user interface. Although Dita 2 is Dita Editor agnostic, which means you can use any Dita Editor with Dita 2, if you are a FrameMaker user, you will be definitely interested in using the Dita 2 FrameMaker connector. The connector allows you to access the Dita 2 content repository and work with topics and maps without leaving the FrameMaker environment. If you are not familiar with Dita 2 Dita CMS yet, here is a brief overview of the Dita 2 components. The Dita 2 content repository is a database where all your content resides. If you are part of a team with multiple authors, you may want to install the repository on a server so that your authors would be able to connect to the repository remotely whenever they are physically located, in the same office with you, at home, or on another side of the globe. Dita 2 Admin is an application that lets you perform administrative tasks. For example, using Dita 2 Admin, you can create user accounts, set up access permissions, define workflow states, specify translation languages, and so on. Finally, Dita 2 Author is an application that lets you access the content stored in the repository and manage it. I'm going to start with connecting my FrameMaker to the Dita2 Content Repository. To do so, in Connection Manager, I needed to provide the credentials. This will establish the connection with the repository. Currently, it's empty, so I'm going to take an existing Dita map and upload it along with topics and graphics to the repository. But before, I want to create a new folder in the repository just to keep things in order. Keep in mind that folders that you create in the repository are virtual. They're not the same folders as you have on your local computer. In theory, you don't have to have folders in the repository at all. You might want to store all content in a flat structure and, for example, use metadata to search and navigate. Now I'm going to open the data map that is currently stored on my local computer. This is the data map. All I need to do is to go to the CMS menu and select Upload Active Data Map. Dita2 is now asking me to specify the location within the repository where I want to put the content and I select the folder that I've just created. Dita2 uploads the map, topics to which the map refers, and other relevant files such as graphics to which the topics refer. Now all this content is stored in the central repository. So if you have Dita2, you can now connect to this repository from your location and get access to the files. And I'm going to close the local copy of the Dita map. Um, we don't need it any longer. As you can see, Dita2 preserves the folder structure that I had on the local computer. Let's say I want to change this folder structure now and rename some files. But take a look at this topic first. As you can see, it includes references to three images. This is how these references look in the code view. Suppose I now want to move these images to another location within the repository. 
I'm going to create a new folder for graphics. Then I'll take the referenced images and move them to the new folder. In a normal situation, the references to the moved images would be broken and you'd have to fix them manually. Fortunately, Digital updates all relevant links automatically for us. Let's go back to the topic that I've showed you and see what's happened to the links. You can see that they now reflect the new location of the images. So you don't have to worry about your links. You can rename and move files and folders around the repository. Data2 will update all relevant links for you automatically. You can always see where each file, whether it's an image, topic, or map is used. Did it also let you see to which files a particular topic refers? Another interesting feature that is available to you as part of the Data2 FrameMaker integration is an ability to add links from one topic to another topic or image stored in the repository. To add a link, I am going to check out and open a topic for editing. Right here, within the FrameMaker user interface. Let's say I want to insert to this topic one of the images that are stored in the repository. So far, I'm inserting a fig and an image element as usual. But now, instead of navigating through the local file system, I click this button, Browse CMS, and this gives me a dialog box that shows the contents of the Data2 repository. Now I can navigate through the repository, pick up the image I need, and just insert it. I can now check in the topic and optionally provide comments about the change I've done. Again, all within the FrameMaker user interface. Finally, I can open the data map from the repository. and publish it to PDF or many other formats using the built-in FrameMaker publishing capabilities. For example, if I want to generate a PDF, I just select Save Data Map As, choose PDF, and FrameMaker will now create a PDF using the default publishing templates that you can easily customize for your needs, of course. We've got a PDF, and like I said, it was generated using the default FrameMaker publishing templates that can be easily customized for your specific needs.
That was a very brief overview of how the tight integration between Dita2 and FrameMaker works. Please feel free to drop us a line if you have any questions or need any additional information. We'll be also happy to see you in our community in LinkedIn and in Twitter. Thank you and stay tuned!